The Octonauts and the Mariana Trench Adventure. Barnacles to tweak. Ready for progress report. Go ahead, Jeff. It's looking good down here. The legs are attached. <laughs> <laughs> and the door is secure. Thanks, Captain. Oh! Uh, the last two computers are in place on the upper level. Thanks, Professor. It looks like we're ready. What do you think, Tweak? Yep. It's time to put all the parts of our brand new deep sea octo lab together. Octonauts and Vegemals, prepare for full assembly. This is it, mateys. Ready? Ready. Activate full assembly, Tweak. You got it, Cap. <laughs> Octonauts, welcome to the Deep Sea Octolab. Wow. Fantastic. Very nice. Mm. Yowzers. Octonauts, our mission is to take the Deep Sea Octolab all the way down to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is the deepest, darkest place on Earth, mateys. And once we've set up the Octolab, Dashi and Shellington will stay for a few weeks while the rest of us return to the Octopod. We're just going to leave them behind in the deepest, darkest place on Earth? Yes. Absolutely. We'll be the first scientists to live and study down in the trench. We'll be able to take pictures of parts of the deep sea that no one has ever seen. And discover new creatures, I hope. And do it all in a place so dangerous that even pirates have never gone there. That sounds like a big job for only two Octonauts. Don't worry, Peso. Tweak and I have invented some helpers. Meet the Octobots. I've programmed the Octobots to help with our research. They have video cameras for eyes so we can see what they see. And they can collect rocks from the sea floor. <laughs> Tunip wants to show you his favourite invention. The veggie bot! The veggie bot is programmed to provide all the comforts of home. Oh, thank you, veggie bot. Uh, no more kelp cakes for me, thank you. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Incoming! That. I'm still working out some glitches in the VeggieBot's programming, but everything else is ready to go. Then let's hook the Deep Sea Octolab up to the Octopod and head for the Mariana Trench. <laughs> OK, that should fix the problem. Let's test it out, Tunip. I'd like one kelp cake, please, Veggie Bot. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's perfect. That's a 
Veggie Bar. Veggie Bot test successful. Very good. It looks like we're getting close to the Mariana Trench. Dashy, it's time to go downwards. I'm on it, Captain. Octonauts, the deeper we go, the darker it gets. Prepare to travel into the total darkness of the Midnight Zone. through these sea mountains to get down to the trench. Dashy, let's take it slow. These sea mountains are tall. Yes, some of them are taller than any mountain on dry land. There it is, the Mariana Trench. It looks like a humongous bottomless Pit of darkness. Yes, the trench is much too deep to see to the bottom from up here. So how do we know where to put the Octolab if we can't even see the bottom? We'll have to go down and look. Quasi, Shellington, you're with me. Time to get out of the gub and head for the very bottom. We've made it to the bottom! Whoa! It's a field of hydrothermal vents, but something's wrong. Isn't there supposed to be smoke and steam coming out? Look, Shellington, some of them have crumbled. Yes. Active hydrothermal vents are hot and bubbly with lots of animals living round them, but they don't last forever. These vents have gone cold and fallen apart. Aye, and there's not a creature stirring. I'm in position. What's the report? You know I can't see very well, so just give me a moment to work it out. It's... it's... three different shiny creatures. Ooh, one of them has a long tentacle. Do they seem hungry? Are they coming to eat us? No! Everybody, snap to it! Hold your position! Shush! Quiet. Captain, this area is fascinating, but we can't put the deep-sea octolab on top of these crumbling vents. Agreed. Let's keep looking for a better place. They're gone. Coast is clear. Glad they didn't find us. Glad they didn't us. We're safe for now. Listen, everyone, I'm afraid we can't live around these hydrothermal vents anymore. They're too cold for us. We're going to march across this trench until we find a new hydrothermal vent to call home. Somewhere nice and hot. With lots of steam and gas bubbling up. A place where baby tube worms, like us, can grow up to be giant tube worms. Aha! That's the spirit. Now then, come on, find a partner and don't forget the clam. Climb aboard, old friend. Sideways! March! We live in the Midnight Zone. We live in the Midnight Zone. In the dark but not alone. In the dark but not alone. Hmm, this area's nice and flat. I think we've found the perfect place for the deep sea Octolab. Agreed. Barnacles to Dashy. Dashy here, Captain. We found our spot. Let's move the octopod into position. <laughs> The octopod is in position, Captain. Very good, Dashy. The trench is too narrow for the octopod at the bottom, so the gut sea will take it part of the way. Ready, Tweak? Ready, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. On my way down, Cap. There she is, Pisces. All right, Tweak. 
On my signal, release the cable and let the Octolab fall into place. We got it, Cap. Ready, steady, drop. <laughs> Octonauts, the deep sea Octolab has landed. Let's turn on the lights and get to work. <laughs> I'm not a bit nervous about being down this deep anymore. The Octolab feels completely safe. Oh, it is safe, Peso. Sure, it's cold and dark out there, but we've got plenty of powerful light and heat. And I put the whole thing on legs, so it'll just bounce around without breaking a thing if we get hit by tremors. Tremors? You see, we're down so deep that there's only a thin layer of the sea floor between us and the hot, melted rock inside the earth. Dashi? When pieces of the sea floor move around on top of the melted rock, they bump into each other, and we get tremors. The Octolab has special equipment that shows us whether or not there are any tremors close by. Let's turn it on. Looks like everything's calm and steady for now. No tremors. Phew. I hope it stays that way. We've collected some fantastic rock samples. The Octobots are working well. Aye! Uh-oh. Something's coming. Come on, boys. Time to roll. Uh-oh. I don't know. Not a clue. Shiba, shiba. Lorda, Lorda. Shiba, shiba. I smell food. Smells good. Let's, Let's roll. roll. This way. <laughs> Delicious. I could eat a million of them. Ah, that's good. We live in the midnight zone. We live in the midnight zone. In the dark, but not alone. In the dark, but not alone. Everybody halt! I feel heat. Me too. And it's coming from this thing. Oh, a nice warm-up for cold claws. Indeed. Snap to it. Sideways, climb, left, 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 left. Hmm, it's even warmer in here. Come on. Uh oh, we've got a situation. <laughs> I'm stuck. Chain of claws, everyone. One, two, three, pull. <laughs> Again, pull! <laughs> oh no! All right, let's make this one count. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> I think I better sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the lower deck. We've lost all power to the Octolab. I need to check the power generator, Cap. We'll light your way. <clears throat> I have to open it up. There's no telling who or what could be hiding in there. <clears throat> oh, something's coming. Hide, everyone. Oh, me oh my. A wire's been cut. But who would do that? Now that's the roar of a wire-cutting monster, if ever I heard one! Yow! Giant 
get bucks. Easy now. No sudden moves. Oh, no worries. We can't move at all right now. Oh, no. Are you all right? Oh, we're fine. Just really, really full. <laughs> uh, it's tough for us giant isopods to find food down here, so when we do... We eat and eat and eat until we can't eat anymore. Sometimes we eat so much that we're too stuffed to move for a while. Oh. Giant isopods. Fascinating. Most isopods are tiny, but down this deep, the isopods are giants. But if you didn't cut the wire, then who did? Look behind you. <gasps> Stop! Uh-oh. Please don't hurt us. Don't worry, we won't hurt you. Oh, I'm sorry I cut your wire by accident. What were you doing in our power generator, mateys? It was nice and warm in there, and we like warm. We're looking for a nice hot hydrothermal vent to call home. We'll help you find a new home. But first, we need to get our power back. I'll just fix up this wire. <clears throat> that ought to do it. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back on. Uh-oh, power surge caused the Octoboss to short circuit. They're out of control, Cap. Wazzy, take the other octo buggy. Go after Tulip and the Veggie Bot. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye. Shellington, you go that way. Uh, Dashy, you go that way. I'll go this way. Let's catch those Octobots. Ah, there you are. Let me help you with that. Shellington, Dashy, I'm heading back to the Octolab with the runaway Octobot. He's picked up a lovely big rock for your collection. Captain, thanks to this Octobot, I found a type of sea cucumber I've never seen before. And this one is recording some beautiful glowing sea stars. How about you, Quasi? Have you caught up with the Veggie Bot? <laughs> Not yet, Captain! Yeah, we're on the edge of a lake of boiling hot glue. It sounds fascinating. It looks dangerous. <laughs> Quasi, turn on the Octo Buggy camera. Aye. Octo Buggy camera on. Jumping jellyfish. It's a lake of boiling hot sulfur. Incredibly rare. Quasi, can you get a sample? Aye, matey. Just be careful not to fall in. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> ah, the veggie pot. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! There's mud flying everywhere! Mud volcanoes! Amazing! This is great, Quasi. Video of underwater mud volcanoes is really rare. We'll get it, matey! Close as I can, and you nab him with the grabber, Chinip. Wow. Now, Chinip. Oh. We did it, matey. Captain, we have the veggie bot. Good work, Quasi. Captain, look, a tremor. And it's getting bigger. Quasi, be careful. A big tremor is about to shake things up. Brace yourselves, everyone. Like there's only one 
Who <laughs> 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 made it? Quasi, Tunip, are you all right? Aye, aye, Captain. We're fine. We just went uh, flying over a river of hot melted rock. It's incredible. You found the perfect new home for our hydrothermal vent friends. I did? Yes. Hydrothermal vents form along cracks in the sea floor, just like this one. Good work, Quasi. Is this hot enough for you? Oh, yes. This is just the kind of home we've been looking for. This hydrothermal vent is just beginning to grow. And we'll grow with it. That's right. We'll get to watch you and this hydrothermal vent get a lot bigger. Let me take a picture of you in your new home. Say, seaweed. Seaweed! Dashie, Shellington, we'll be back down in a few weeks to pick you up. We'll miss you. Indeed yes, we will. Sir. We'll send video reports to the Octopod every day. We certainly have a lot to study. The lake of boiling sulphur, the mud volcanoes, the brand new hydrothermal vents. Aye, and who knows what else you'll find down here, mateys? <coughs> <coughs> Don't worry, Tunip. We'll take good care of the veggie bot. Remember, if you need us, we'll be here faster than you can say. Bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Dashie, Shellington, goodbye for now. Octonauts, let's head back up to the octopod. Bye-bye. Farewell. Bye. Bye. So long, mateys. Veggiebot, could I have a kelp cake? Me too. Thanks, Veggiebot. <laughs> <laughs>